Welcome to WTDC 17 here in Buenos Aires in Argentina, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Hulin Zhao, who is Secretary General of ITU. Mr. Zhao, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Now, I'd just like to talk about WTDC 17 and how important is this event? I know it's important in ITU's calendar. It's one of the most important telecommunication development events. But in furthering ITU's objective to connecting people everywhere. You know, ITU's mandate is to connect people, connect the world. ITU was created in 1865, but the ITU's mandate focused on development really started from the 1990s. And we started from 1992 to create a new sector, ITU, telecommunication development sector. And since then, we organize uh, activities. We try to work with our members to address the development issue. And the first World Telecommunication Development Conference was held in 1994, exactly also here in Buenos Aires. But then, we just uh, try to push the investment and uh, support to ICT. Uh, just imagine, 1994, what is the situation of ICT connectivity in the world? Look at the situation today. You see the importance of ICT to facilitate the social economic development. Now people realize that the ICT is an enabler to facilitate all social economic development. However, the situation today is different compared with uh, 1994. Therefore, this uh, World Telecommunication Development Conference is quite important for our future. That uh, IT will make this opportunity, unique opportunity, to invite our, our member states, our partners, uh, our friends to work together to address the issue of the ICT development for the next uh, four years, for the next 20 years. You know that we had the uh, United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goals, approved in 1995. This is the first uh, World Telecom Development Conference after SDG approved in 2015. So we will uh, look at this issue uh, to see how can we link our work with SDG. How can we make ICTs more developed with new technologies to bring the new technologies beneficial to our people, but also to bring this uh, beneficial to everybody, because today we still have, uh, uh, unfortunately, half the population not connected online yet. So these are major issues for us, and uh, we will take this uh, golden opportunity at the world level to look at the ICT's future development to bring our world population into the future with uh, ICT benefits. The focus last time was on broadband and um, broadband penetration. The theme of the conference this year is, in fact, ICTs for SDGs. And I wanted to ask you, how crucial, in your opinion, are ICTs in the attainment of the UN Sustainable Development? During my discussion with the Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Guterres, and he fully recognized the value of ICT. And he even put the word that ICT is uh, important for all and every SDGs. 17 SDGs, and this kind of uh, recognition of ICT is really important. And it's also very good for our industry, for our business. And we see also ICT now moving not only with the ICT technology development, but also you know, to go everywhere to help another ecosystems. And at this meeting, we will be able to see opportunities that uh, the Secretary General, Director General of uh, World Health Organization will come to join us. We will talk about uh, ICT and uh, public health. And we have uh, a lot of uh, projects uh, presented by uh, our experts in their consultation with uh, the other ecosystem at their level to see how can ICT help other ecosystems such as education, public health, agriculture, and everything you can think about that today, uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, this conference will give us very good uh, uh, guidance that uh, for the next uh, four years, for the next uh, 20 years, how ICT 
would uh, better integrate with the other systems and uh, facilitate the other development. Now, of course, we're going to hear a lot of exciting and uh, stimulating conversation here over the next couple of weeks. What concrete actions do you hope will come from this conference? Of course, uh, that uh, for such kind of conference, we needed to see some concrete result. And we, we will set up some goals, implementable, concrete, but also somehow ambitious. Because <laughs> if you don't have a dream, you will not be uh, good in doing something useful and better. And uh, here, uh, I think that uh, uh, we like to see if we can have some kind of uh, declarations by the family. Or we can have some kind of strategies, what we can do next uh, four years. Of course, we also like to see some have action lines. And uh, those kind of things, I think that uh, we already have some kind of uh, preliminary discussions. And uh, uh, I think that this conference will finalize this and we will see. And here, I also like to take this opportunity to uh, share with you good news that uh, I was uh, honored to be received by the Pope at the beginning of September. And during my discussion with him, and he also recognized the new technologies, ICTs, and he appreciated very much ITU's work. And he considered that the ITU's mandate to connect people connect the world with new technologies and not to leave everybody behind, anybody behind, is absolutely you know, critical to the future of our population in the planet. And uh, he will also give us a message to show his support to ICT. I, I, I think that uh, uh, this kind of uh, messages will encourage uh, our, our family members encourage our industry members, encourage our friends of partners that we, we have to, uh, you know, to, to, to work harder to achieve the goals everybody is waiting for. Well, very much uh, encouraging words. Thank you very much, Steve, for being with us in the studio today. And we wish you the very best for this conference and, of course, for uh, the, the future up to uh, 2030 and beyond. Yeah, I'm very confident. <laughs>